everyone, it's Skidoo, and in this video I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Alba's Gothic figure. I think it's a 1 8 scale um, by Good Smell Company. So we're going to be opening him up today. I've been super excited to do his unboxing, but because uh, my phone hasn't been working, I haven't been able to film it, and it's been sitting here in my house for so long, and now we're finally going to do it. Finally. Okay. He is packaged like this. There's a lot of stuff. Ooh. I'm so excited. Of course, he has the paper around him to keep him from getting all scuffed up, which is much appreciated. So. Oh my god, the box is gorgeous. There's no window to show him, though. So this is the front of the box here. Oba Gothic version. Oh my god, it's so pretty. And, like, the font is super pretty. Look at this. Good Smell Company, Orange Rouge, or Rouge, or however I use it. Look, it's, like, matte with all these, like, the patterns glossy. Here's the back. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't cheap, so they better put him in a nice, fancy matte gloss box with spot gloss i'm so happy i'm so excited top just looks like that bottom just looks like this so we're gonna figure out how to open him so we're just gonna pull oh my god so we're just gonna pull it open like this Mm, I love that smell of fresh plastic PVC. Here's how he is packaged. Oh god, this is closing on my finger. That actually hurts. Ow. Okay, so he is packaged like this. Um, we're going to pull out the plastic here. Okay. So the inside of the box just looks like so. just has this dark inside. Um, it actually does have a pattern to it. I don't know if you can see. It smells very strong of him. Um, and then I think it has just like a warning for choking hazards. Ugh, okay. Okay. Ooh, he's, it's heavy. Okay, we're going to cut all the tape now. Okay, now that I'm done cutting the tape. gonna pull, pop this open now oh my god okay so let's get his base out first oh my god it's velvet what <laughs> I am so utterly confused there's no peg or anything maybe he's held up by the the horse then so the base looks like this there's a little piece of something on it but it's actually like a fu fuzzy velvet so it's gonna be fun to dust mm. Um, but yeah, sorry again, I'm gonna keep looking over here because this is where the screen is so I can see what I'm actually showing on camera. Camera's here. He hello. Um, but yeah, so nice velvet. And then we have, oh my, this is a hefty boy. The knight chest piece is super heavy. I'm actually very surprised. It's like all gloss. I'm scared to get fingerprints on it, but it's too late now because I've already touched it all. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like. It's so heavy and big. Wow. Okay. Um, no idea how he's supposed to be posed. I should maybe have looked at instructions or something. So what I'm seeing here is he has a hole in the knight's head and you're going to put, there's a peg on Oba's, um, elbow. I don't want to, I'm like, I washed my hands before this, but I already feel like I'm greasy and going to muck him up. So, oh my god, he's already, I'm screaming! Wow! Shoot me! Just gonna, wait, does his head come off? No, his head wouldn't come off. That wouldn't make any sense. Does his hand come off? Oh my god, his hand does come off. Okay. So I'm not sure if his head comes off. Um, I'm a little too scared to try to pull it off. I just pulled this plastic off around his neck. His hand apparently does come off um although his hat is quite in the way 
Uh, so, oh, there we go. Okay. So this hand does come off kind of awkwardly. There's a piece of plastic in between. Um, there's some tape on his hat fluff, hat feather, hat fluff. Ugh. Okay. Interesting tape. Um, I'm not sure, like, if his head... I don't think his head comes off. I mean, if it does, then whatever. <laughs> but I'm gonna put his hand back. Okay. Dad stressed me out um, to get the plastic off of everything. But holy shit, he is beautiful. I am so excited. We're gonna put him in his base. His arm goes around the ear. You can't see a thing I'm doing because this fucking camera setup is awful and I greatly apologize. Okay. Okay, so his arm goes in there. He's not even touching the ground. I don't know if that's normal. Um, I, of course, I will do a closer look of him as well, so you guys will be able to see him up close and with a better, not really, kind of better camera. I don't know, not really. So that is one thing I'm a little concerned about is that even though he's standing, his foot is actually not touching the base at all, which is like, okay. But this is how he looks. He's beautiful. And his hair and its stupid little ponytail. And I'm just gonna actually lift this up because he's just attached to this, literally. Um, there's no foot part for his base as the base is just a velvet flat thing. I love that it's velvet though. That's so cool. Although, again, I'm not excited for dusting. Um, but look at, look at this pose. He is so fancy. Holy shit. I can't. And like the way they did the colors on all of this part and his feathers and stuff where it's kind of like clear but really iridescent and I'm just, man I'm weak I'm a weak person okay <laughs> um yeah so this does worry me a little bit that he's not flat with the ground um I don't know if it's just because he's not like no I mean he's he's in there as far as he's gonna go but he's still not flat with the base he's just just hovering over it actually it seems not as bad now, but there is still a tiny gap, as you can see, he's shaking there. Um, but he's so pretty. Okay, I'm going to open up Ren really quick so you guys can take a look. Um, and then don't forget to check out the closer look in the description below where I show you guys, like, a really good, really good, I say that, but it's it's probably not <laughs> the best anyways. Um, but oh my god, Ren is so cute with his little boots. Shoot me. Look at his little boots and his little tail and his little ears. I mean, you can't see his ears, but his little hat. But I guess the hat has little ears poking out. Like, spots for his ears to sit, I guess. I'm not sure. But he's so cute. I love him. Ooh. But yeah, take a look at the closer look. If you're interested, that'll be in the description below. Um, and then I will. you'll get to see all of this better. And not with my face in the mix. Okay, okay, I'm gonna stop. Um, he was a super simple figure to put together. You're just pretty much putting his arm, the peg attached to his elbow, into the, the knight piece's head. And then you just sit it on there. I guess this is why the knight piece is so heavy, because it sta it acts as an actual um, stand for Oba's figure itself. Um, so I'm very happy. I'm very sorry that this video quality is so shitty. Um, when I get a new phone at some point, which probably won't be until September, so I apologize greatly. <laughs> at some point, it'll get better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I really, really appreciate it. If you're interested in checking out the Closer Look, do so. Um, it'll be in the description below along with all of my social media, uh, and my affiliate links to City Japan and Tokyo Talk Mode. If you purchase anything through those links, I get a small commission, so thank you very much to those of you who've done it before. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!